guys, Anthony here with Empire Music, EmpireMusicOnline.com, and today uh, I'm showing you another new model out of the uh, Fender American Original Series. Uh, well, a new finish. This is the in Olympic White with the red tortoise guard, which is one of all time one of my all time favorite color combinations on a bass. Um, but this is the '60s jazz bass. Um, super, super cool instrument. Very punchy, very articulate feeling. Um, as I've said before in some of my videos, that the, the American Original Series is sort of a really underrated uh, line in, in, the, in the Fender family there. Um, if you can't quite get into Fender Custom Shop pricing, these are great values. They come in around $2,000 and you get a whole, whole lot of like the vintage inspired things going on with it. So as far as the bass itself, it's an altered body. It's got pure vintage uh, 64 pickups in it, which sound a lot like the stuff we get out of the Custom Shop. Um, you got your three knob layout, so no stack knob stuff here. Tone, volume, volume. As far as the neck, rosewood board, uh, maple neck itself. It's got a slim 60s C on it. So while not quite as slim as what we get out of a modern C, it's still pretty playable. Inch and a half at the nut, vintage tall frets, and reverse gear, open bag, yeah, open gear, uh, reverse vintage tuners on it. Super slick instrument. Always a blast to open these things up, get them out of the box. Did I say inch and a half at the nut? I think I did. If I didn't, and it's a bone nut on there. So all the premium stuff that you expect out of a USA made Fender, um, but more like vintage inspired. So tonally, when I was playing there at the intro, I had uh, both pickups wide open and I had tone probably on about 80 there. I'm going to put tone all the way up and you're going to hear some of that punch and clarity that comes out of the instrument. Um, and we'll play something uh, that I typically would play, which is pentatonic madness. We always you know, very predictable in the videos, but uh, that's what it is. So check us out. Everything wide open. So I'm digging in there pretty good. If I lay off back a little bit, we get a little rounder in tone. So what we'll do now is we'll solo the front pickup. And that's what I always like about a jazz bass is you get that really nice playability with the, the, the more narrow string spacing. Um, so all that like jazz bass ease of use. But when we just solo this front pickup, what's cool is we get um, sort of P bassy kind of sound. So if we'll just compare kind of how those notes bloom, I'll go back. So here's wide open both pickups. Now, if we just take that front pickup, here it's two drastically different characteristics. Very, it, it get that rounder kind of P bass, uh, that real woody kind of organic sound, that, that, that big round bloom rate, or like how that note kind of blooms. Um, very, very P bassy. So we'll play a little line with it too.
So that's what we get out of just the front pickup. Um, we'll go back to the J-Base pickup just on the bridge and uh, we'll hear how that sounds. So we roll everything back. We just have the bridge pickup going on now. So versus what we were rolling with when we get into just the neck pickup, we're kind of getting away from that P-Base sound. So now we're starting to dial in that real mid-rangey kind of punchy sort of tone. Generally, when I'm playing off of a bridge pickup, I'm going to move back and attack over that to kind of accentuate sort of that what that mid-range, that, that real pushed kind of sound can do. So uh, check it out. And I got tone all the way up. I'm gonna roll that back a little bit to about, uh, about 80%. Just to kind of give you a comparison here, so wide open, how the note blooms and sounds. Cool? Just front pickup, so neck pickup, P bass kind of sound. Right? Now just bridge pickup. So that's why we love the wide range that you get out of a J bass. Um, while I'm, I'm more of a P bass guy on gigs and just at home, I own both. It's good to have both in your arsenal. Some guys always move uh, towards the J bass sound. I, I always equate it to a little bit more of a modern sound because we get that snap, we get that punch, we get that clarity. But the nice thing with the versatility in a J bass is that you can pull some of that P bass tone and vibe out, but you still have the option to dial in that bridge pickup and add mid-range and add some brightness to it. That really helps, I think, from like the, the real world perspective of playing on a gig where I'm in a room, I can't hear myself really good, but I just want to dial an extra mid-range and some extra cut and clarity. A J-Bass allows me to always do that. While that might not really be my tone, when you're on a gig, it's like, you just got to hear yourself. So who really cares like what the tone is at that point because you're, you're, you're just trying to, to, you know, it's just practical at that point. And it can help cut through a mix a lot too. So I'll give a couple examples here with a pick too. So we'll go wide open with the pick. Uh, neck pickup with just a pick. So in typical jazz bass fashion, a super wide range of sounds you can pull out of it, regardless of what your playing style is or what the genre is, you're getting really three distinctly different tones that we can pull out of a J bass. That's why they're an awesome tool to kind of have in the arsenal. So uh, Fender American Original 60s Jazz Bass. My name's Anthony. Call me here at the shop personally, 412-343-5299. You can email me directly. It's anthony at empiremusiconline.com. Message us on here. We'll generally try to respond out to you. Um, and uh, that's it. 0% interest financing, free shipping. We'll get you the best deal possible. And uh, yeah, check us out. Thank you.